Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video, and as you guys probably already know, about two days ago, I mean, I usually upload these videos during the middle of the night for me, so pretty much two days ago, on April 21st, we had the official announcement that the next Call of Duty game is going to be called World War II, which is pretty cool, you know, we, I mean, we had leaks about this in the month of April, and we had seen some images, but we just didn't know if they were actually official, they seemed pretty official, and so a lot of people were, like, looking towards that that was going to be the next Call of Duty game, and we officially figured out that it is going to be the next Call of Duty game, which is pretty cool, so the cool thing about this is that we've been into the future for Call of Duty right now, like, all these recent Call of Duty games, they've been set into the future, I mean, Infinite Warfare is, like, set in space and stuff like that, where now we're going back in time now, back to Call of Duty's roots, is at least that's what Call of Duty says themselves, into World War II, which is pretty cool, so that means no advanced movement, just normal boots on the ground, pretty freaking awesome, I'm not gonna lie, um, I don't know about the whole name the called World War II, I mean, I kind of feel like they should have changed the name differently, I don't know, but yeah, the name is gonna be called World War II, obviously it's gonna be set in World War II, right, because, I mean, that's the name of the game, and so... I'm actually pretty happy that I waited a day later to make this video talking about how this how this next Call of Duty game is going to be called World War II because we actually got a little bit more information. But before I talk about that new information, I just want to say that we're going to be getting ourselves a launch trailer for World War II on April 26th, I do believe. So that'll be pretty cool. I'll probably, like, once the trailer releases, like, to the world, I am going to be watching on my phone during, like, the school day or something like that because I'm pretty excited to see this trailer, see what Sledgehammer Games has up their sleeves for these past few years. And I'm really excited to see what this game is like. So, other than that, other than the release of this new trailer and stuff like that, um, there's also a new image, um, which is kind of the official image that a lot of people have been seeing for this next Call of Duty game. It's a pretty cool image. It's a guy. It's a guy's face. He's holding uh, the butt of his gun with both his hands with dog tags, and in his eyes you can see a reflection of like people he's like looking at and stuff like that. Kind of cool looking image. I'm not gonna lie. If that's the front cover of the game, then that'll be kind of cool. It's a kind of kind of a pretty like really. Really cool looking picture. I don't know why, but it just pretty looks looks really cool to me anyway. But let's talk about this new information that we actually just got out today. So um, there's this image that's been going around that people like took a, like someone took a picture of this like in the back room of like GameStop or something like that, um, and it talks about the campaign, the multiplayer, and the cooperative mode that it's going to have. So let's see what the campaign has to say. I'm not going to actually show this image to you guys because it might actually be like considered. Um, copyright on my video which would really suck up but what's kind of funny is that Call of Duty themselves actually tweeted this picture out as well which is kind of weird and they just like mentioned it I don't know it's really weird but anyway let's talk about what the campaign says so the title for like this campaign thing here it says the definitive world uh, world war 2 campaign so the definitive world war 2 campaign Call of Duty World War II tells the story of the unbreakable brotherhood of common men fighting to preserve freedom in a world of the brink of tyranny. Players enlist in a gritty, intense journey through the battlegrounds of war. The campaign features bold, lifelike visuals with the kind of blockbuster cinematic authenticity that only Call of Duty can deliver, which is kind of funny how they say only Call of Duty can deliver because, I don't know, it's just kind of funny because they're saying, like, Battlefield can't deliver something like that, even though they made a World War One video game, so, I don't know. So, yeah, anyway, that was the, like, the little description they had for uh, the World War Two campaign. Um, so it sounds like the, I hope, I'm, I really hope that this World War II campaign is going to have actual facts of what actually happened back in World War II, because, you know, World War II... Um, is a big topic that happened back in the day. There's so many things that happened, like concentration camps, uh, just the Nazi army in general. It's just there's so many things that happened in World War II, even Pearl Harbor. Um, but the front cover, us like the one of the official images that uh, Call of Duty has kind of released was image of soldiers on the beaches of D-Day, which is quite interesting. So hope so it looks like um, this is gonna be taking place during the time of D-Day, maybe, which I think will be pretty cool. So really excited to see what the campaign is like. I always play the campaign probably could be playing on the hardest difficulty see what that's like I always like I like playing the campaigns the hardest difficulty see how hard they are but anyway let's go talk about multiplayer here the title says boots on the ground multiplayer which obviously means that we're not gonna have any of this advanced movement or anything which obviously I mean it's World War two there's no advanced movement at all back then so anyway let me read to you guys what it says for boots on the ground multiplayer Call of Duty World War II multiplayer engages players in grounded, fast-paced combat across many of World War II's most iconic locations. Players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialize with friends and the Call of Duty community.
community. So this is actually really, really interesting. So one thing we can take out of this is that it mentions that World War II's most iconic locations. So some of the multiplayer maps are probably going to be actual places that happened, like actual battles that happened in like during the World War II era. So that's actually really cool. I wonder how they're going to do that, you know, where I'm trying to think of like Battlefield 1, even though that game took place in like, even though Battlefield 1 is taking place in World War 1, I'm just thinking to myself, um, like how would close quarter combats really work in this World War II like setting? I don't know, um, because there are a lot of weapons that are semi-automatic, especially assault rifles. Um, but when some machine guns, light machine guns, are all fully automatic, and of course we have those snipers as well. But yeah, we're gonna be having some maps that are gonna be like iconic locations in World War II, which is quite interesting. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Another thing that it mentions for the multiplayer is that it says there are new ways to interact and socialize with friends in the Call of Duty community. So what is that even supposed to mean? So we know in Black Ops 3, we had this feature implemented called groups, which is kind of interesting. You didn't have to be with friends with anyone in the group. Um, so it's just a group of you and a bunch of other people that you can just like invite to your game for parties and stuff like that. You, there's no leveling up system for groups. It's just you and a group of bunch of, because it's like you and a group of people, I can't even talk right now, but you and a group of people just to interact with each other like on just like the Call of Duty game, which is kind of interesting. Um, Infinite Warfare didn't have a group feature but uh maybe this new feature will have like maybe s instead of calling it clans they call it maybe platoons so you can like join other people's platoons and maybe make your own platoon and start leveling up and stuff like that so it's kind of platoons will basically be like a clan or something like that which i think will be pretty cool so yeah there's gonna be new ways to interact with people which i'm kind of curious what they have up their sleeves about that for socializing anyway now, let's talk about this topic that I'm really, really interested in, and it's the High Octane Cooperative is what the title says, so this new cooperative mode. So let's read what it says here. Call of Duty World War II's cooperative mode unleashes a new and original story. Play with your friends in this next level standalone game experience full of unexpected adrenaline pumping moments. So this is super interesting because, you know, a cooperative mode is a huge feature in Call of Duty games, especially zombies. Zombies, like, that's what, like, Call of Duty's been going at right now, is just zombies mode extinction didn't turn out very well, and as well as special ops, and it sounds like this co-op mode might actually be special ops or something like that, which I kind of hope it is, you know, because, you know, like, zombies has been, like, a big feature of Call of Duty, that's what the community wants, you know, but, uh, you know, we might, doesn't mean we won't get zombies, but... What's kind of interesting is that it says standalone, like, game experience, which is kind of really weird, um, but yes, but you can play with your friends, uh, it looks like it's gonna be something similar to Special Ops, and it doesn't mean we won't have zombies, they might do the same thing they did in Advanced Warfare, where we would get zombies in, like, the DLC, which I really hope they don't do that, if they're gonna add zombies to the game, then they should make it to where... You can go up against zombies in just the normal standard game disc, not um, additional content you have to pay for, you know, that's just my opinion, but it does not sound like this is going to be a zombies experience, maybe they're hinting it's going to be zombies experience, who knows, they're just not telling anybody yet, but we'll just have to wait till the trailer on the 26th, even though usually those trailers are going to be like only campaign only, but maybe they're going to hint towards zombies or something, who knows, we'll just have to wait and see, so yeah, pretty cool new information we got for... Uh, the next Call of Duty game world called World War 2 that's gonna be really hard for me calling it World War 2 just because It's just called World War 2. It's not like a certain name. It's just World War 2 So I don't know. I'm pretty excited though That's the whole point and I'm sure you guys are excited as well for this next Call of Duty game considering we're going back in the past And it's not a future Call of Duty game. So I can't wait to see what Sledgehammer games has up their sleeves for this game. It's gonna be absolutely amazing and Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Call of Duty videos later in the future and comment below what you guys think of Call of Duty World War 2 so far. Are you guys excited? Because I know I am, so make sure you leave a comment below about that and I shall catch you guys later.